Hello from Slovenia again. I will do a split cup today. I still didn't decide if I want to do some, I don't know, <laughs> wandering thing or something because I don't have a square canvas. I have a 12 by 16 inch canvas. So um, I don't know. I will just go with the flow. That's how it is in acrylic pouring, isn't it? Uh, and today I'm trying a little different mixture. I mixed some Liquitex gloss medium into my paints too. So it's not just my pouring medium. It's mixed with Liquitex gloss medium and colors. I really love those colors together so I will use them again. Our Naples yellow red light from Amsterdam. Whoops. Just checking the consistency and Azo yellow deep from Amsterdam and this is uh, Vallejo con Ecuador orange. On Ecuador burnt orange, I should say. I think that this one is a little thicker. Ah, okay, and Amsterdam carmine. This is probably my favorite red shade. I don't know. Or Bordeaux red. <laughs> and Amsterdam turquoise green. Okey-dokey. I think that I will grab just a regular cup. I will just remove this for a second and do some ring pour on top. So I will start with Naples yellow and deep yellow. This orange tends to take over obviously and red and turquoise and this 
purples again and yellow again and orange but not as much and red and turquoise I think that I will just raise some of my pearl white in there just like that it's an experimenting time again because I I'm really not happy with this uh, composition I like this but I don't like some of the other parts so and I will do just a straight pour on top I really like this colors in the middle so I will just try to get them out as much as I can because it really created a nice pattern here in the middle I will just try to bring you a little closer maybe you see just love it let's torch this real quick where is my torch I lost my torch again here you are wow oh, what is wrong with all those bubbles
kind of interesting, but I don't like this corner, so I will go back to the middle a little bit and then to this corner here. I really like this combination of uh, these two effects with uh, pearl white mixed here. bikini corner of okay and now a little I will turn it around wow I just love how it looks uh, with this pearl uh, because I see a lot of transparency a lot of colors underneath so I will just go a little more down to this side and now I have to look for a composition a little bit now that my corners are covered just a little more Do you see my hear my chickens? They are just happy. They lay their eggs probably. I think that I will leave it I just will just add a little of this burnt orange here because I don't like this green here better I think I'm afraid to torch because I'm afraid that I will get a ton of tiny cells out but there is so many air bubbles that I have to and I am happy now see that you have a glare hope that this will help because I like this part with this wispy look and some more bold bold colors and some really beautiful things happening in here so I am happy now I will take it down so I can show you what I'm talking about Here is the transparency of these colors under the pearl white. You can almost see through there. And some pearl cells here on the bottom.
see them. Here it looks like a sunset or something. And then to this middle part with all those gorgeous colors here and in the middle so I am really happy with this one and I'm happy with the composition maybe I would love to till this part off I will maybe try but sometimes you have to leave with some one part that you don't like because I want to keep all the other things here that are just beautiful I'm glad that I poured it over because it's just beautiful for my taste and some pearl cells on the sides see so interesting I love it love it love it love it so thank you for being here tell me what you think it's better now I definitely think that it is because I love it <laughs> this is it for today and see you on the next one bye